Welcome back! In the previous lesson, we studied the basics of timing, how to time a chunk of code, and why speed efficiency matters in general. In this lesson, we will look at the lock and ilock pandas function and find out which one is the most efficient to select columns and rows in a pandas data frame. Let's look at the main dataset we will use in this lesson, which derives from the famous poker card game. In each round, each player has five cards in hand, each one characterized by its symbol, which can be either hearts, diamonds, clubs, or spades, and its rank, which ranges from 1 to 13. The dataset consists of every possible combination of five cards one person can possess. Let's take, for example, the first combination, which corresponds to the first row. We have a 10 of diamonds, a jack and a king of clubs, a 4 of spades and an ace of hearts. If you're still not completely sure about the dataset, please pause the video and look the bottom part of this slide carefully. One of the most useful features of the Pandas library is the ease of convenience of selecting specific rows of a Pandas data frame. We're going to use iLock, the index number locator, and lock, the index name locator. In this example, we want to select the first 500 rows of the poker dataset. Firstly, by using the lock function, and then by using the iLock function. While these two methods have the same syntax, iLock performs almost 200% faster than lock. iLock takes advantage of the order of the indices, which are already sorted, and is therefore faster. We use iLock and lock to target rows, but we can also use them to locate different features in a pandas data frame. In this example, we want to select the first three columns of the poker dataset, the symbol and the rank of the cards that came first in each hand, and the rank of the cards that came second in each hand. We can use the iLock function to locate a feature by index. Alternatively, we can simply select one or several columns by name. The syntax of iLock for that purpose is simple. We denote with a colon that we want all the rows of the data frame, and then after the comma, we use a colon followed by a three to denote that we want all the columns until the third one. To select columns by name, we simply include the name of the columns we want in double square brackets. In terms of speed, for the task of locating features, lock performs 30% faster. In general, the lock function works better for selecting columns, while iLock is faster for selecting specific rows. Now that we explore the differences between iLock and lock, it's your turn to target rows and columns and evaluate the